Hello, I'm using a theme by Studio Press uh, called Whitespace Pro and this theme lists the blog pages or your blog posts on the front page. Now this is, a, this is the traditional way that WordPress lists the front page. All it's doing is showing you all the blog posts you've made and then you click the next button and it shows you all the ones. So that's what you've got, you've got all the blog posts listed on the front page. This is not the same type of a front page as if you're using widget areas to set up your front page. It's a traditional WordPress blog front page. And what I want to do, I want to customize the WordPress query. Now Bill Erickson has made this really good blog post showing you how to do it. But before we start, only do this if you've backed up your site and you can restore the site using FTP. If you're new to um, PHP be very very careful I wouldn't really try this I'll try it on a, a test site because if you break your website by editing the PHP it will completely break WordPress and the only way you can fix it is by using FTP anyway that having been said what we need to do we want to go to Bill Erickson's website search for customizing the WordPress query it's got a little search box there if you go to the blog section search for customizing WordPress th the query and scroll down to the bit of code it's given us exclude category from blog so we need to copy this code so we click view raw copy the code do not copy that PHP tag you don't need that you just need the code there so copy the code now I'm going to my WordPress dashboard and I need to go to appearance editor and then look in the sidebar here for theme functions functions PHP the, the theme I'm using you, you put this into functions PHP and I'm using whitespace bro theme by studio press but if you're using this theme don't put it in the Genesis framework put it in the theme functions PHP so I'm using whitespace bro and I'm putting it in the theme functions functions PHP when you get to functions PHP, scroll right down to the to the bottom, and we're going to paste the code we copied in here. Now, I'll just click update, and we don't lose the changes. What Bill has done there is set it so they will exclude the category with a number four. All your categories have got an ID number. I don't want to exclude that category, I just want to have one category, only one category appearing on the home page. So what we need to do, you need a category to start with, so we'll go to posts, categories, and I made a category called home page. To make a category just type your category name in there and then scroll down and click add new category. I've made a category called home page and I, I want to know what the ID of the category is. So go to posts, categories, hover over the category you want to use here and then look at the bottom there and some code will pop up. And in the code there'll be an ID equals. So it's near the end of the bit of code. And in mine it says ID equals five. So I want to use five. This, this category is, is category five. So we go back to appearance editor theme functions functions PHP scroll down to where our code was and I don't want to exclude category 4 I want to only include category 5 so that's what I'm using I will click save and we'll have a look see if anything's changed at the moment what we've got is all of our blog posts all listed on the front page. If you had 10, 20, 30 in every category, they'll all be sort of listed on the front page. So if we go back to the home page, oh, we've only got two, two posts in there. I think we'll put one more in. So let's see where our posts are. Posts, all posts. We're looking for home page, home page. We've had one more to the home page. We'll just add that. So we've got to add this post to the category. Or we're going to put it in that category. So I'll click quick edit. I want to add it to home page, update. 
and see if we've got an extra post in there. Now we've got two. Now we've got three. And however many you put in that category will appear on the home page. And if you've got more than the limit, it usually got a limit of say 10 posts or whatever, and then it'll give you a link to older posts. Anyway, that's all we need to do. We just have a quick look, I made a thing for you. So we only do this when you've backed up your site and you can restore it using FTP. Be careful. This is the link we used, or that's the, the page where we got the code from. Um, this is the, the, the page, that's what it's called, and the, the bit of the, co the code is it's got a headline of that just above the code. Don't copy the PHP tag, you don't need that, you just need the code. Um, then you got our appearance editor, functions PHP, paste your code in. And then, um, you, oh, you need a category, and you need to set the category in this bit of the code, it's at the bottom of the code we copied, the the, uh, the category. So you just change it to whichever category you need. If you want to use more than one category, put a comma between the categories. You don't need a comma after the last one. Don't delete these little um, single quotes because the code needs it, PHP needs it. If you've only got one, if you're like I was only using one category, you don't need it to add any more, just, just put the single one. You don't need a quote, uh, a comma after it either. If it's just one number, just type the number, number five, no comma and no, nothing else, but don't delete the little single quotes. Anyway, that's more or less it. Um, I'll put a link under this video when I put it on YouTube so that I'm making a web page to go with the video. So, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.